as the elk rut turned on finally. We're out here in beautiful Wyoming in September, hunting elk during the rut. It's like last year, we'll have action every day. been a pretty slow first day. We got up here on the ridge that we were hiking into. Got camp set up. Filtered a bunch of water, hauled that up. And uh, we're sitting on a ridge where we can see kind of like the middle of a big basin with a bunch of fingers in it. And we can see everything really if it's out moving. There's been zero bugling. We ran into some other hunters too, down on the road coming in. They said it's been really quiet. We're going right up into the meadow where we last heard bulls bugling. We're hoping that after this weather and the dates are progressed farther with photo periods changing and all that, that the rut's gonna kick in big time today. That's what we're hoping. Still thinking of shooting him until he turned and looked at me. And he's little. And I, I didn't have enough time to count if he for sure had six. Did he? Did, could you see? I, I think he might have been just a five two, but the dude that was him. There he is right there, big old black spot. Let's end it today. There's three bulls in this canyon. I'm gonna come back in this meadow in the morning and see if we can work them.
broken off on his left side. It didn't, I couldn't tell for sure, but it didn't look like a fresh break, did you think so? It looked like it was probably broken when it was growing. But if his right side was bigger, I probably still would have shot him just because he would look pretty cool, but he was, I mean, his main beams were only, I suppose, probably that long, maybe. But dude, that was cool, what was it, five yards probably? sitting in the truck we are literally surrounded by elk there's a bull coming from in front of me there's a bull coming from behind me there's like seven or eight bulls right here at the trailhead i never seen anything like this had a bull with about 25 cows on the hill above me and had me pinned down i couldn't move that's why i got in the truck his cows eventually let him away he was a monster i think you can probably eat these bulls people Silver lining is I didn't wound a bull. But I missed a bull in five yards. Driving me crazy.
first step I was gonna let her sip, I was on him. <sighs> How much closer can you get, seriously? Other than shooting and missing. I'm gonna keep doing this because they came into this. We're bringing down. It's opening day at rifle season. Last time we were out last week, just a few days ago, I had arrowed a bull and uh, we were looking for it. It looked like it made a good hit. We looked for several hours and then a bunch of rain and snow came. As you can see, we got dumped on again last night and uh, we just couldn't find him. It was a heartbreaker. It had a perfect setup. It looked like it made a good shot. The only thing I could figure is maybe I shot just a little bit high. Anyway, we, we didn't find the bull so the way i work is that in my in my opinion that's a punch tag i'm not going after another one which is unfortunate for a lot of reasons but that's the way it goes uh but anyway um my son hunter it's his first elk tag so we're going to where we really got into the bulls last week i'm feeling good we're gonna get one today right yeah all right let's go
before we get committed to one spot or another. We don't want to miss out on anything that's right here around us. So maybe climb up a little bit further so we can hear better, get away from the creek, bugle again. If he goes off again, up we go. Hit him again. Hit him again. Good shot. You're high. Shot over him. Hit him. That was a perfect long shot. Do it again? Yep. Keep shooting. Nice shooting, Hunter, man. You hammered him on the first shot, double long, perfect. Did you see that little red spot on him? On I, was, I was just looking on the camera. How beautiful. Your first bowl, buddy. That's a dandy bowl, too. It's a nice a bowl. bowl. That's what you call Redeemable. Redeemable. 814 on opening morning. And we're done. We be done. <laughs> nice shooting, Hunter. Nice well, shooting. In my opinion, even though we can go home today, I think we pack the sucker out and we just chill around wall tank. That's down, what maybe. I think. I'm I'm down to it, spend another night in a wall it tank. We go home tomorrow. <laughs> We can smell them right now. You can see where he cleaned off the trees down there. He's down bottom, which is okay, because we're headed there too. <laughs> nice bull, buddy. That's a nice bull, Hunter, man. Grab those antlers, bud. We forgot our scope cover today. So you got a handy dandy wool sock. What do you think, Papa? I'm proud Papa. I bet. Proud Papa. Proud I am. His composure and shooting. and But again, it's time at the range. It's time spent in the field. He's out in the field with me. And we just we just live the lifestyle. I'm not bragging or anything, but some people get all wound up about you know hunting or they don't spend the time in the field. And this isn't a hobby for us. I get a little agitated when people say, oh, hunting's a sport or hunting's a hobby. It's not, it's a way of life. This is what we do. And even before I worked at Eastman's, this is what we do. And uh, people ask my wife all the time, don't you hate it in the fall because he's gone so much? She's like, he was gone before. You might as well do it for a job. <laughs> Best cuts of meat on the animal. Hunter man. 
Bring out his bull. Heavy loads. Heavy loads. Todd is so stiff and sore. Hunter's got to dress him. <laughs> and you put him on just like my wife does. <laughs> Sad part is that you have your wife put on your socks no, too. <laughs> Good job, Hunter. This is what you call with old paying for packing services right here. 